dollars worth of game. Powered by Barstool Sports. That song of the week was from Mizzy Cash, Hard Nights, man. We got some, man. Wait, Listen, hold we on, got man. I keep telling you about this shit, man. What? What you fuck you with? I, I go by the name of Gilly the King. It's your boy Tony the Closer. I'm Wallow 267. This is Gilly the nut ass nigga. We got, we got some guests in the building. We got, what's wrong with you? Listen, we got some guests in the building. We got Chico Beanhead. We got DC Young Nye, you know what I mean? <laughs> and we got Carl Noose. But see, you know I mean? the crazy we part Carl is. Noose. The cra- Carl Noose. That's, that's what he gonna pay, he gonna pay Mitch Carl The crazy part is, you've been writing that since like a like couple years. Yeah, that you? shit was corny cool <laughs> as shit. Well, <laughs> nigga already had names ready for <laughs> niggas coming straight out. That's Carl how you Noose know he ain't no comedian. That shit was corny as shit. We got DC Young Nah. <laughs> I thought you said like DC Young Now. Like Nah. Yeah, like like oh. Nah. Oh, that was nah. Uh, <laughs> Boom, your goddamn man. Goddamn germ looking ass, nice, man. man. Fuck wrong with you, but you look like a live you, you, I ain't having a nigga. Bro. Hold up, nigga. I go Billy wrong. Paul on you niggas. You niggas see what time it is. <laughs> me nothing from me nothing. Oh my goodness. Mrs. 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 Joe. Cut that shit off, man. Hey, no, where shit go? I'm going to keep it real. You got that running back going on. Yeah, nigga. Yeah. My shit is 1972 yeah. All-Star. Let that shit go. No, ain't shit no letting it go. Listen, I figured you would understand, oh, Wallow. I figured if, if anybody would understand what I got going. Not that, but I'm just no, saying. Oh, look, you look. got that aftershave on <laughs> yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, okay. yeah. Oh, I, I ain't never seen that up close. <laughs> look, look, look. He got the drop top caddy. Yeah, I ain't never I seen see that up close. That, oh, so, yeah. oh, so you still, okay, Wallow your hair still growing like a bit. Jordan okay. 13. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm saying, and I figured you would understand me being different. And a new addition. No, I respect you. You know what I mean? Because you used to nasty. used to do feet in jail, so you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, 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 I remember you said that, Gil. That, that nigga, that. that nigga had a half shank, half fingernail file. He was hitting niggas with the fingernail <laughs> file <laughs> in jail. Oh man, and then, like he, then he then he shank a nigga if he act shit. stupid. This dude's hey, a piece no, of shit. No, but but since it went like times like this when it get cold. He knit all the gangster sweaters. No. What? Fucking Keep them warm. He knit, he knit them. You be on knitting? Me. Yeah, knitting like I'm all the gangster. He, he knit the shit out some sweaters. Listen, hold, 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 me, hold my fucking like, tear. Hey, there's Franklin. <laughs> 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 Take the head off one more time. Look, look. Take the head off one more time. <laughs> hey, there's Franklin. Hey, there's Franklin. <laughs> <laughs> all the 90s, baby. Let's have it. You asked me. Sometimes you got to let your soul glow. This episode of Me and Oz Worth a Game is brought to you by Radix Remedies. Now, I know you ask yourself, what is Radix Remedies? Radix Remedies is the national CBD provider launched by a group of friends who saw firsthand the benefits of CBD in nootropics. Radix has a wide variety of CBD-infused products, including their Sleepy Bears, helping you achieve deep sleep and recharge, and their Narrow Root Focus Plus, crafted for all the go-getters who always on the move. 
I'm talking about so anytime you need to be up, you need to be alert, you need to be on the move. This is who you need to get with. When taken daily, Neural Root Focus Plus promotes a brain function, memory development, a positive mood for long-lasting daily energy, increase your focus, motivation, concentration at work, school, or even working out. Neural Root is a result of thousands of hours of research and development by top scientists. I'm talking about complex system modeling, neurobiology, organic chemistry, as well as dozens of MDs and PhDs. Coding, design, creativity, night shift, study session, entrepreneurs, stage performances, attention issues, whatever you got. Neural Root has something that'll be on point for you, man. It's a real life, lifeless pill, man, in real time. So also know that uh, Radix is the only CBD hemp flower monthly club in America. Sign up today. Receive the best strands with exclusive Radix swag monthly to your door. So just go to RadixRemedies.com backslash barstool. That's RadixRemedies.com backslash barstool. And use the code barstool to unlock some special deals. Hey, man, get on point. Get focused. Radix Remedies. But listen, we're going to get into this. This is a special edition, right? Yeah. And I'm going to tell you why it's special. Why is it special? A lot of times, motherfuckers don't know how to tell brothers, other brothers they see doing anything. I love you brothers, right? And this is why. I love you brothers because y'all doing some extraordinary shit for people that look like us. And y'all showing people that, listen, man, you can have your own shit. You can do it your motherfucking way. You know what I mean? You can turn down paper. You Listen, man. Everything is possible. I don't think y'all understand, like, this media conglomerate that I see y'all building on some next level shit. And I'm so, I'm so, I'm so, you know, I'm so thankful that I get on the phone and call y'all sometime and just, you know, and we could trade information, trade ideas, you know, give each other game in different ways, you know what I mean? Because, yeah. and I want to say something to people out there. Game ain't got no age limit, man. Ain't no age limit on game when somebody can give you some guys attention, motivation, education. Mm -hmm. These cats is out here doing it for real. You see what I'm saying? They doing it for real. And if you out there, you need to take some notes. Me and Carlos were just talking about how a lot of people don't know how to transition off of Instagram with this comedian shit. You see what I'm saying? Everybody think it's just sweet. Oh, I'm going to just be on Instagram and I'm going to keep doing this. No, you got to take this shit off the Instagram to really make some fucking money. Yeah. And while you're on Instagram, you got to you, you gotta make some money. You see what I'm saying? All that just, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm funny. Yeah, listen, you keep saying you're funny. Them likes, them likes don't pay mortgages and shit and take care of babies. Mm -hmm. I mean, congratulations to DC. Just had a, a fresh yes, child. Man. You know what I'm saying? Yes, sir. A fresh, fresh child. child. A fresh child. <laughs> a fresh child. That's a fresh one. Nigga was in jail for 20 years. His whole <laughs> leg was different. Fresh child was brand new. <laughs> his fresh. whole leg everything fresh to him. You know what I mean? Everything got to be fresh. fresh. Child. You know, him That's a fresh and his cellie used to go at it about shit like that. Nigga, wrap your soap up in some paper towels, nigga, before you lay down. He didn't say shit so you can kind of know what he mean. DC had a young baby. What the fuck does that mean? It's fresh. It's brand new. Had an old, brand new baby. It's it's on the scene, you dig know what I'm saying? It just, and, just came and, through. and why you giving them these flowers while they living? I just want to say this. You from DC, right? Born and raised, yes, sir. Mississippi. Mississippi. ATL. Yes, sir. Where's that? It's three black men from total different parts of the country that was able to put whatever differences, whatever egos, whatever to the side and say, let's get this money. Get the money. Yes, and ain't name judge Chico, even though he was up, you know, DC smoking dippers. Running down the street, man. Ass don't naked. ever disrespect me he's like that, dippers, Snell. Man. I, ain't I ain't never, never smoked, smoked a dipper, dipper in my yeah, life. He, he was tripping nah, out. Nah, listen, man. Listen, I, I, I understand uh -huh. that it's a little rough for you being as though you was gone for so long, man. You probably got a whole closet of all the shit you wish you could wear throughout the years, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> like what? <laughs> like, like, whole, like that shit he had on at the Yeah That's Us video. You yeah. still want to be in that video, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> you still want to be in the Yeah That's Us video. Yeah, I see that. Maybe that's why he be hating so hard. Exactly. He mad. Listen, y'all niggas re create that video if he deserved that man all the shit that y'all done <laughs> exactly, redo redo the yeah that's us video no, 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 for no, him no, no, no. he did it in jail he is in no who them niggas making chi chi now yeah that's us <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah laying down with my celly now yeah that's <laughs> us <laughs> yeah. well, well, I love the worst person to talk to about some <laughs> shit man that nigga, piece of shit can't ask him about no women that nigga like man fuck that girl make you a fifi and go to sleep man, <laughs> <laughs> man who <laughs> sometimes you do just can shake one out and just go ahead and rest it's less half <laughs> 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 
<laughs> fuck. Shake one out. Shake him all out. Shake, shake, shake. Uh, shake so, him all out and lay down somewhere, so, man. Uh, no, let, let's let's well, let's keep it real. Since y'all talk about shaking one, shaking some, how many, how, how often do you shake out in a month? Fuck you worrying about my that's count. Weird. I'm a fucking body weird. count, nigga. Yeah, that's that's weird. Weird. You just yeah, out here yeah, shaking out. Yeah, again, you don't just ask a nigga how many times you shake out. You just, you just shake out on the You don't just shake out like, hey, my nigga, so how many times you be shaking out? Because you know what? I'm not going to answer that shit. You know what? I was going to catch you niggas right out there. I mean, I do six times a week. Oh, you do? You out here beating your dick and you can live with a woman, you nut ass nigga. That's what I was going to do. What type of I was punishment catch is that? Niggas, I was going to catch you niggas out there. Come wait a baby nigga. Yo, you be shaking off. Baby. Yo, you shaking off. Yo, nut ass nigga. What you Listen. shaking off for? Hey, 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 because let me tell you something. <laughs> You young, you black, you successful, and you still shaking off. You a fucking loser. Listen, you's time a out. Fucking loser. And, and know and knowing the type of hustle this nigga Gilly is, this nigga probably got an OnlyFans asking questions like that. Did you pay me to get you to ask all the wild ass <laughs> oh, questions? Feet, Hold on. Feet on yeah, him. I know. You see the first nigga I went to. I mean, times you shake off. Fuck you ask me for because it. Because I, I figured you would be the one to jump out there. I don't, you know, I shake off all of it. Oh, so you just got what? a woman nah, what? shake yeah, off? Nah, I don't know what the fuck. I ain't never about. even called it nigga shake off. That's some Philly shit. No, no, that's something you no, made that's up. Some shit. They oh. shake it off. He just said, I'll shake off all no, he That's what nah, he called shaking the dice. Shaking the nah, dice. Man. <laughs> so uh, let me ask you a question. How many times you shoot dice without shooting dice? <laughs> Dumb shit. Sure. <laughs> nah, <laughs> exactly, bro. I would have hated to be this. Off hey, off. I would have been his cellmate, Carlos, man. I got a real question. How many times you shoot dice without shooting the yeah, dice? But know. listen, no, <laughs> he, he you a man, off. Imagine being this nigga cellmate and he leaned down over the bunk. Hey, man. Hey man, you you about to shake off, man? <laughs> hey, how many rolls do it take for you to get a number? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh shit! How many rolls hey, do it take? Hey, Prime this example: nigga, This nigga came to my house and shook off in my bathroom. I did not shake off. How did you find wow. that out? Wow. No, no, no. This is what happened. No, I was in there taking the shit. Wow. I was in there taking the shit and I was watching Smut, so I ain't know it was that loud. Ah oh, man. Yeah, he walked by her. Yo, she got the bottom. How you fucking mind my business? Y'all too close. Y'all, 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 y'all are real friends. shit and watching Smut at the same time? Y'all are real friends. No, listen. So the nigga, the nigga had a shake out with a dirty booty. This nigga here. <laughs> like, who, who watched poor? No, because... My woman came downstairs. Two came downstairs. She was going. So we you talking. Walking by the bathroom she walked in the bathroom. She I'm like, like, I was just looking at a little movie. So she like, it's wallow in there. He in there watching porn. So I'm like, Lo. He like, yeah, what's up? I said, what you doing? He <laughs> nigga, about, answer. But listen. Huh? But the nigga talk about. The nigga talk about. <laughs> hey, Lo, the nigga said something. He knows. He's nigga wrong. The nigga talk about. He going to get an attitude, though. What? I'm shit. Fuck What's you up? Nigga, nigga. Fuck you what? Nigga. You, he you my watching porn, my you nigga. You minding my motherfucking business. Once that door Hey, he caught him. He caught him in the mix. Wallo, huh? <laughs> what you doing? He tried to cut it out, huh? Uh, no, I ain't cut it down. You ain't cut I it down? That long, long. See, you the Wallo the type of nigga get up, wipe his dick off, forget to wipe his ass. And <laughs> now this nigga got your couch smelling like shit and uh-huh. nut on your good hand towels. Like, nigga, don't we ever come back over here again. <laughs> what is wrong with you, dog? <laughs> like, oh my, my nigga, who, who go to somebody <laughs> else's crib and jerk off in a downstairs bathroom? I ain't jerk off. That boy got caught. Hey, hey, I was just looking at you. You should have been Wallo if you ever come back to the crib, bro. still getting caught. Hey, man, y'all niggas. Is bad. This I was is, just looking. This man. is an honor, man. And it, like, you know, because we all, you know, we all the, the same niggas all the time. And, you know, we fans of who we oh, fans man. of. And we done been watching y'all niggas since y'all came together. Like I said, Gil, you already, a, you a legend. You already you a, you a legend. You a, you you a, a legend. If you on ne- nigga, nigga, I don't give a fuck that he be talking shit about you never going all I'm the way to number OG. one and platinum yeah, and none of that shit. Rapper. Did I mean? But <laughs> the sh- from our generation, us being <laughs> young up. niggas hey, coming up with YouTube. And seeing them YouTube videos you put out, you legendary right. already. Yo, so to look. see what y'all have been able to do, man, Appreciate is, it, you know, this this is Don't amazing, man. I couldn't wait. He ain't do that out here yet. Who, tell, what? Him, tell him you on the OG. way up. OG. No, he did a lot. To tell him you on the way up. He did a lot. Tell him Gilliam. Wallow get his credit, man. What do you need? Thank man, Wallow oh, been home for 46 months. Right. He done sold 13 Hondas. He done made over 200 Instagram videos. He done uh-huh. built this platform. Right. Wrote a book. He done, he done learned how to shave without cutting himself and shit. He, shit. He, he done got caught too. Bro, but that was a long time ago. I ain't that talking was, about that. I'm talking he about He had only been out a couple months. Yeah, in the watching fucking porn, taking yeah. the shit. That don't he gonna, like, look, they just, we just going to have to accept some parts of Wallow. When he shit, he got to watch the movie to get everything out. Yeah. 
Mm. That don't mean he a bad person. I didn't okay. see that. that I just, he just needs some headphones. That's absurd. Christmas yeah. coming up. We got to get uh, Wallow some motherfucking headphones. He, he like the shit and watch porn. Bluetooth. You just got to make sure you got your headphones. Ain't nothing wrong with that. But the, I really do think you, you you get up for get to wipe your ass, too. I've never done that. Yes, you did. I've <laughs> never done that. Yes, you, how many times and see, and they, bad, right they got that spray. <laughs> when you, you spray it in the water, so when you take a shit, you don't smell nothing, so you just be... Uh, nah, that's, that's too high class. Yeah, that too. They got that shit, too. I want to smell shit. my shit. I want to see what's in there. Yeah, you know if you're dying or not. You know if you're dying or not. They smell like me. They smell just like me. That's it right now. Yeah, that just will. But no, y'all the OG for real, though, OG, man. You know what I'm saying? They coming in the game and... We, we doing our thing, but to see y'all still handling your business and longevity, you feel me? A lot of people don't have that longevity. And to see y'all handling y'all business and have right. different avenues, like, we seen right here with y'all podcast, just like y'all giving us our fly, we're going to give, give them right back. Like, why yeah. motherfuckers can't take the time out to do this and show love? You see what I'm saying? Like, and I'm going to say this, though. This is beautiful. This is why I say you got to listen. You got to, you know, you got to listen while you winning. And it, it ain't no age limit on getting the game. It was a situation that took place. DC called us. We're a while away, man. I got to talk to you niggas. We said, what's up? Listen, bro. And he gave us some real live ism about the situation. You know what I mean? Ism. It, yeah, ism. That's game. Old school shit. Fill up your slim shit. Player shit. This one, I'm, I, sometimes I go back in the Mac mode. Oh, you just made that the fuck up. No, ism. <laughs> no, he ain't speaking the ism, man. Let him rap, baby. Let him rap, baby. You know, let him rap, baby. Let him rap, baby. Speak the ism. Sound wild. like some old ass weed. You just miss ism. So listen, <laughs> he gave us some game, man. And it was like, we, we soaked it up. And Absolutely. that's and when you could call each other, you know what I mean? Me and Lowe's kicking me and pull up on cheek, we just kick. That's real shit, man. We ain't in competition with them. Right. They ain't in competition with us. Right. There's enough money for everybody to make moves, do their thing. You know what I mean? Come on, man. Why we got to be in co- Oh, right. only, only one black person could do this over there. Only these black people. Everybody black. Can- no, we ain't in competition. And if you out there, you want to come up, you're doing podcasts, you're trying to, you're a comedian, you're doing stand up, whatever. Nigga, you in competition with yourself, Ain't man. no competition. We need more black content. Mm-hmm. A bunch of it. We Absolutely. need all of it. We need cooking shows, uh, automobile shows. All we shit. need everything. All, shit. all black creators need to come together and create and just more. Just start creating shit. You need to show what our brain capacity is, you feel right. me? Because we've been so limited. Our and, range. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah that range. And, yeah, and, and we've been so limited, and motherfuckers just so stuck in the box and being scared to just... Go outside the ball. Like, you gotta go outside the ball. Yeah. You really bigger than that. You right. bigger than what you are. Right. Yeah. You feel me? No, I'm honest. Like, whatever you're doing right now, you're bigger than that. You feel me? So it's like, it's only room for just pro- just, just progression every time. You feel right. what I'm saying? So this is beautiful right here. And, and we, we make it a, like, you know, we sit here, we laugh, we joke on each other, and we play around to really show motherfuckers that it, life ain't that fucking deep, man. Right. You're supposed to laugh, man. You're supposed to enjoy life. <laughs> You feel what I'm saying? And everything we do, we try to have a message even if you don't see the message. Mm-hmm. You feel what I'm saying? And, like, the message in this is that we all, we older, they younger black men, and guess what? His headline is our age. Yeah, he's he, he, he 44. Shit. He, he my age with his headline. And, uh, yeah, but, but I'm, I'm, go ahead, I'll wait. Yeah, I'm go, saying go it's ahead. our age. I ain't but, saying that wrong. But the message we trying to show y'all is that <clears throat> You suppo- you supposed to salute a nigga, not shoot a nigga. Don't shoot man. a nigga, please. Right, right. right. Salute right. a nigga, man. Right. It don't cost it, nothing to it, show a nigga love. Nigga. Don't cost it. Don't cost nothing yeah. to be like, I see you. I see you. Them, them, them three words make it seem like a nigga gonna go bankrupt. You ain't gonna go bankrupt. I see you. That's all a nigga be like. Salute a I nigga. See you. you feel me? That's all, man. Salute a nigga, man. Don't mm-hmm. shoot a nigga, man. Sometimes that be the only motivation that that nigga need to break That's through. That's it. Yep. The young nigga on Nick Grant, all he needed to, what, was just for his big dog to get that salute from a motherfucker that they acknowledged or respected or something. That shit could push a motherfucker okay. to the whole nother level. Because sometimes, especially when you want a, a, a higher platform at the time than somebody on the way up, sometimes it only take that salute from you to keep a motherfucker to keep going. Right. He right. might was ready to give up, and then he like, damn, you fuck with my shit? Yeah, that shit hot. Damn, I was ready to shit. All right, fuck it. Let me keep it. It'd be that little shit like that when God talk to some niggas sometimes and then it just happened for you. Right. And I, I think that it mean a lot more when you V 
you authentically and people see you and, and see that you are an authentic person. That's one of the best things about y'all. Y'all whole relationship, everything that you see, you can tell it's authentic. You niggas not putting on no act. Same thing oh with us. God. It's authentic. So that's what we try to bleed out into, you know, because we have influence. So what we put out into the world is being received a certain way. Absolutely. So when people look at you, what do you want them to see? Do you want them to see the character that you're going to have to keep up every time you run into them? Or you going to give them who you really are? And at least it makes it easier for you to be that person whenever you go out and be who you are in the world. Absolutely. Like, that's why that's what this shit really mean. Like, it's like, I know my shit look crazy as fuck, but I don't give a fuck. No, you right. So why should you? Right. Do you understand? Because at the end of the day, if it if it makes me happy, I don't give a fuck what nobody think about it. As right. long as I ain't hurting myself or nobody else, fuck you in your opinion. Absolutely. That's what it's about. So if I can give that to people who look up to me and, and support us through our platform and I'm right. doing a good service. Tell them how you started this shit. I started it because uh, when I was I was in my house <laughs> boxing. You've yeah. seen the video. Yeah, I've been, yeah, you know, yeah. just getting my shit right. <laughs> and I had my head back and everybody was like, nigga, you trying to hide that hairline. And I just seen all the comments. I was like, oh, these niggas got me fucked, fucked up. up. Right. I'm going to show you just how much I don't care. Right. And I posted my shit. And it got the most comments I had ever got on any Instagram post right. ever. Right. And it was just like, damn. It's something as simple as that. I was like, that's crazy that people really care enough about what my shit look like. Right. Fuck it. When we had a podcast and I was like, 2020 over, nigga. We ain't doing nothing normal this year. Right. <laughs> that I was like, you know what? I Fuck it. I ain't cutting this shit. I'm going right. to keep it. And then it got long enough for me to do something to it. Right. And my dreams came yeah, true. It can. No, y'all your shit can't You had grown a Kimbo no slice, though. <laughs> you you had a Kimbo slice. Yeah, you just had a straight no, Kimbo slice. Wallo, right fuck that, man. Yeah, Don't rap. let nobody talk you out of growing uh, your shit back. Uh, yeah. yeah. Wallo, if you want to grow your shit back, man, Spice grow your shit back, bro. That's the right. message Chico Bean is inspiring. I said, right. bro, it, 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 I might grow my grow shit back. Don't grow your shit back. It's serious shit. You got a great uncle here, Perception, I'm going to say this shit. I want to look in the camera when I say this shit because I want y'all to understand the seriousness in my fucking face. Perception. It's not always fucking reality, man. Uh -huh. wow. Look at my fucking eyes, man. That's hard not to do. Just <laughs> because I hang with another ass nigga, I'm not another ass nigga. <laughs> I don't right. with you Y'all be getting me fucked up. Be, never, be before together. this you nigga be, came I, home from jail, I was never a nut ass nigga. I never seen that in my comments ever in life. Yes, right. Now, this nut ass nigga's home from jail, y'all want to add me in on his shit. Give you a nut ass nigga. nigga. What, what, what the fuck we start that? <laughs> Y'all been knowing me for fucking ever. Y'all just met this nigga. It's clear he's a nut. He wear onesie he's with no draws man. to the Cherry Hill Mall. Only a nut ass nigga or somebody that's on the prowl for some little kids would do some oh, shit what like that. Nigga he's nah, nigga, man. that was fucked up. Y'all are reckless. Yeah, I talk shit up top is reckless. Let me let me ask you a question. question. <laughs> if 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 you see the nigga in the in the mall <laughs> with a onesie <laughs> or right some. Big ass teddy inflated bear. Yeezys. Yeezys. They like teddy bear John. And you know good you day. know your man like then it's like dog you like, look, you got drawers on. Like, what the fuck Why is you doing? Why you kept worrying like, about that fucking department? Because you, my body. because because you grabbed me up. You worry about certain because of people. First of all, niggas don't. Niggas who the fuck want to wrestle? What grown man want to wrestle in a onesie? The nigga tried right. to wrestle you in the onesie. Oh, they want to try. He, they he wrestled him in the onesie. He didn't try. He did. Yeah. But so, like, what type of shit in the mall? Wallo, you on X pills or something? In the mall? What's up, like You did this in the mall? Wallo, you are free. You are free. They got clothes. You, you wrestled a nigga in the onesie in the mall. No, I didn't. You are free. <laughs> they got socks, drawers, shirts. Room. We wrestled in this living room. They got clothes. Yeah, that sound like some shit a nigga on the X field. <laughs> we wrestled in this living room. Right. You know what I would type of grown man? Him in public. Right. You know what type of crazy ass right. grown man you got to do to jump into a onesie? No, hey. no, 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 wait, wait, no, hold on. Drove a whole hour from his crib in a onesie in and some, in some joints and. In and wanted to wrestle. And knew for a fact when I see, but when I see, get off and wrestle this nigga. No, he said some shit. I just jumped on because you know he was captain of the wrestling team in jail. Fucking lying. No, I want to ask y'all a question though, man. Whatever. Well, you crazy? Disregard that. No, they think. Listen, his name was his name was Chick Flair. Fuck out of here, Franklin. You are something wrong with you, man? Lying on me, man. Another one of our sponsors is Simply Safe. Everybody want to keep their home and their family safe, whether it's from a break in, a fire, flooding, a medical emergency. Simply Safe Home Security delivers award winning 24 7 holdup, and the winner is award winning 24 7 protection. With Simply Safe, you don't just get an arsenal of cameras and sensors, you get the best professional monitors in the business. They got your back day and night, ready to send police, fire, or EMT. 
when you need them the most straight to your door. Simply Safe have an arsenal, you know, of cameras that cover your hole and sensors that cover your every inch of your home. You can set up yourself in about 30 minutes. It's super easy. Then Simply Safe professionals take over, monitor your home 24-7, ready to send you everything you need. Plus, Simply Safe, there's no long-term contract, no hidden fees or installation fees. Right now, listen, everybody that's listening to this, listen, get a free home security camera. When you purchase a Simply Safe system at Simply Safe slash simplysafe.com slash game, you also get 60 day risk free trial. So there's nothing to lose. Visit simplysafe.com slash game for you to get your free camera today. That's simplysafe.com slash game. A lot of people could go on, you know, Instagram, YouTube, see y'all performing in front of thousands of people selling uh-huh. all these shows out. Let's talk about what they didn't see that got you there. Mm. What got you there? Shit. What they didn't, all the shit I, they didn't see. How did it go? Let, let me answer for DC Fly. <laughs> me singing. <laughs> what, what, what you saying? Like, what, like what got us just into no, the no, no. spotlight? What they didn't As see. As a unit or uh, all around? The beginning. All around. The, the, the shit beginning they didn't stages. see. Driving from city to city. Uh, so, you know, the Saturn. All the shit that they didn't see. What got... Because, you know, everybody think on Instagram shit just happened like this. Right. Oh, they oh they just they went from I, here to I here. I ain't going to cap. I ain't going to cap. This is was the, the biggest thing that I took from this whole situation was faith and believing in your partner dream. Mm-hmm. Straight up. Damn. That's it. I don't know what the fuck you talking about. What I mean, though? Go what, you mean, what you mean? About <laughs> what you mean? No, he's I mean, because he said, he, said, he said, like, what people don't see, like, you know, when, when it all first started, it was just like a, it was a, just a, you know what I'm saying? Like a suggestion. It was like, hey, man, you, you, you know what I'm saying? Because when Carlos brought it, brought it about, he was like, this was like, what, about five years ago? He like, yeah, man, about you, six. He like, nigga, you know, yep. you, 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 you want to do a podcast? I'm like, what the fuck is that? He like, man, you know, like a radio type shit. You know what I'm saying? Just go. Yeah. But in my mind, I'm like, all right, it's another avenue for me to continuously to talk and be comfortable in the comedy area. Right. Where I'm like, I'm not okay. scared to. To trust my judgment okay. on what I feel like is coming because I'm right here. Right. You see what I'm saying? So right. when y'all doing y'all podcast, whatever you say, nigga, you trust what you say, right? Right. So there was a form of me building confidence on I trust what I say. Oh, okay. So I was like, all right. But in his mind, it was like bigger than right. just yeah. that. You right. feel me? And I was just like, I'm just trusting my judgment. <clears throat> and then once I started realizing what was going on, I was like, hold up. It's way more to it right. than this. I need to put a little bit more love into this shit. You right. feel me? Let me put my one, two on it. Absolutely. And then once it was just that, it was just like, okay, Real. I Absolutely. see what's happening. Right. You feel me? So Because see, motherfuckers see, they like, motherfuckers see, you know, the light at the end of the tunnel, but they don't see when you're going through the darkest parts. Right. Like all, all that, all that. Right. You know uh, You what I'm know, saying? they don't see y'all when y'all doing them, them, them shows all week long. They don't see you. They, they didn't see DC. Young Fly, or I don't know if you do, I don't know how long you've been doing live shows, but right. if you was, they didn't see you when you was in that club and it was 42 niggas in there. Right, right. You feel what I'm saying? And only 12 of them <clears throat> was laughing. Right. But see, it's like all of that shit goes hand in hand. It's like without those nights with 42 people, you ain't going to know how to rock when you get in front of 8,000. Absolutely. And it's like the one thing I learned about, I've been doing comedy for 15 years, it's like, there is literally no part of the game that you can cheat. Can't nobody put you on. Can't nobody mm-hmm. make you a star. Can't nobody make you funny. And can't nobody make you chase your dreams. And you right. see a lot of people that get caught up in a lot of different industries that aren't living their dream. They just trying to do what they saw be successful. Right. Like, you know what I'm saying? Somebody who got put in a position to keep, you know, to keep them out of other people's pockets, basically. Right. right. And they not even, you know, they feel entitled to like, I want what you have because you the one who put you like, no, you gotta put in work for anything that you want. At first it's hard and you figure it out and then you start making bread and then you start making it make sense. And you think about those times that you didn't have it and what you would have done, you know, what you would have did if you would have had it. And then you get it and then you do that shit and you're like, well shit, if I got this now I can just keep building and keep building and that's what we starting to do. Like internally with this whole pandemic, like we're going right. in a whole nother direction with this brand, with this platform, with this network. And it's like we want to reach out and use our platform for as much as we can use it for as right. entertainers, as business owners, as, you know, creative people. Absolutely. A lot yeah. of times life is hard because motherfuckers don't have information. 
Right. Mm-hmm. Because information make life so much easier. Right. You feel what I'm saying? Right. And and it, you got a lot of motherfuckers out here who they got mm-hmm. talent. They could be the next DC Young Fly. They could be the next Chico. They could be the next Carlos. And all the talent in the world, but they want to stay confined to a 10 block radius. Man, that's the glue that make us tight right, right there. It's like we believe him. Right. We know we don't we know he not trying to be DC Young Flat. He, he just he, is. Right. He is Chico Bean. Mm-hmm. Right. I am Carlos. Right. 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 And they didn't see me in situations where they was totally fine. Right. And I flipped out. Right. But then he might flip out. But it's still the same thing. It's like ain't nothing that these niggas can do that can make me be like, man, I ain't fucking with them. Right. Because I didn't see these mo- like I didn't see them go from zero to a hundred to a thousand to a million. Right. And it didn't change shit. Right. It didn't change the man that he was, the right. type of person that he was, right. the, the principles that he stand up. Right. Mm-hmm. But one thing about family, family argue and fight, and they get they get past it. But okay. even when that shit was the case, me? it was never over no shit that we couldn't come back from. Right. Like, well, right. it ain't it ain't we, never no, over no if like for me if you ain't if you ain't disrespect my my, my right. wife, you didn't right. you didn't kill one of my partners. Right. You didn't. You didn't try to disrespect me business wise. Mm-hmm. We can get over that shit. Yeah, but th- I think that comes from having, like what he said, respect. being consistently you. And right. when you consistently you, it's a level of respect that's built that's different Absolutely. than if a motherfucker you know. Because I'm not even gonna give you a level of energy if I see yeah. if your shit ain't right. I don't even want to be around you, but nigga. You, I got to go. So when we came, I know when we got together, we literally had. Z, uh, we was nobody. Nobody knew who we was. Right. Fly came in with a little bit of of being known, but it was still niggas that was on the show and that was bigger stars than him. He was like the street nigga that right. was that. What? We, let's see what this one do because they right. already had tried to bring in social media motherfuckers to try to make it happen. And mind you, all of this is in the space of us getting on television. Right. So right. where we come from, growing up, that that means you made it in a. The way we grew up, right. like nigga, right. we even got on TV. It's on. Right. But when we got there and saw the work that it took. With nothing, it proves like, okay, this is what we supposed to be doing. And in that walk, you build up those experiences. Me and this nigga used to walk up and down the street in New York in the cold to send $30, $40 home. Nigga, my Saturn view had 200 some thousand miles on it when we got on. Mm. And so I would never be able to look at him and no matter how much we accomplish or what we get and what we come up with, I'd never be able to see him any different as that nigga because when we was them niggas he the same nigga right now as he was right. then and vice versa right. when we met fly I tell his story all the time me and low sitting down him and uh <laughs> low said came in together now me and low sitting down in the lobby this is my first time meeting fly fly walk up and was like yeah see you left me for your real friends huh nigga that's the first thing <laughs> he said walked and walked <laughs> on and i was like i like that nigga right there he really i felt it immediately right. like his energy was right, right. that right. nigga really liked that right yeah. so now at this point with all that we've accomplished we we appreciate it. It's a blessing from God, but we the same niggas that we was amongst us because right. we know Mutual this shit respect, organic. Yeah. Came, we came from nothing and we said, you know what? Let's make some shit work. And right. we consistently did it and ain't nothing changed. So if we go to wherever we, you know, God got for us, the same, man. And and the add on to it is is more so, you know, what's different with, with us, with skin skin color, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Skin tone, longevity. Mm-hmm. We talking about early, uh, earlier. And I'm real big on that, you know what I'm saying? Matter, no matter what a nigga was doing, I was gonna do it for a long time. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? So once I see some work, I tapping into some Dexter Laboratory type zone type shit where I'm like, ooh, <laughs> how can I see myself in this type of situation? That's how wild and I was. When we first started in 2015, right. I tapped into a zone where it was like, ooh, how can I be a part of this for a long time. What is this? Who is this person? What is his strength? Who is this person? What is their weaknesses? How can we help each other out? What is what is my weakness? Where I'm, I know where I fit in. Where I'm like, okay, that's what he good for. I know I'm gonna never try to do that because that's what they good for. Okay, right. this is what my other brother good for. This is what I'm good for, and they I, I, and I also see that with this with the reciprocation that they never would try to step on my toes and do something that DC young fly loose leg. Right, I'm right. the only young nigga who right. gonna sit up there and do loose leg. You right. dig what I'm saying? Right. When it comes to clever shit coming off the wall, I'm gonna let OG go crazy. I'm not gonna go home and study no music. I'm not gonna do it. Right. 
OG got that down pack. Every right. city we in, I know for a fact I'm looking. I'm looking for my dog. I, I, and I, and they I, give I, me. They give me some shit. You know shit. I can hundred percent. Right. Cause like back in the day, like I wasn't eating no bitches pussy. I let him warm the bitches up for me. Right. You niggas is Abbott yeah. and Costello. Yeah. Man. I'm talking about Pinky you and niggas the brain, is crazy. No, he, he, no, no, he used to be a bitch was, warmer for no, me no, back in the day. Y'all understand? Listen, Wallow is younger than me. Word, yeah. Wallow three, I like the titties, Wallo though, three right? years younger than me. I wouldn't so need anybody. I, I had the little bitches. He used to warm the bitches up and go, let me Fuck, cut Man, I got you. What type of creep ass nigga was you walking around with <laughs> this young ass nigga? You talking about him being fucked up? You, Wallo, come on. You 15, this nigga 11. You fuck around, walk around with this, this nigga like, like something wrong with him? Fuck wrong no, with you, no, nigga. No, 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 you walk around with a young ass no, nigga that's no, your partner no, making him no, eat pussy and suck titties and shit. What type of pimp is you, nigga? Go on that nigga. Titty, yeah, nigga. Yeah, you, you ever had a toddler suck your titty, baby? Come hey, fuck with come Gil. On, man. Come on, you, know, you know how back in the day how Going the, the older niggas nigga. used to do the yeah, young Yeah, I know, nigga. I was one of them I, young niggas. I was niggas. putting I was him on the mission. I was putting him on the mission. I was going to suck him. Yeah. He thought he was getting this thing off. He, You know, he could get to suck a little titty warm up for me. Warm up. Yeah, shut that uh, head. I was mad as hell. You never had a bitch warm up? While I was talking about he let one chick burn him like two or three times. I was like, why the fuck did you do that? Well, I double back. The pussy was good. That pussy no, the fuck it wasn't. Mm, that pussy had to <laughs> pussy be was fire. horrible. Talking about the pussy was good. That pussy was terrible. <laughs> nigga, what the fuck is wrong with that you? Was on fire. I mean, that's why God said, you know what? You get a dub. All right, because you, like, you gonna like, die out here. Like, the shit like, you doing ain't nowhere in the world you gonna survive. I, 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 we gotta I, I, take I, I, you I, I, off I, I, the streets listen, for twenty years listen. and let this shit slow down because we need some I'm gonna need you to leave. Yeah, I'm gonna need you to leave. But then listen, but then listen, but then listen. God was mad at himself when he seen all the shit he was doing in jail. Damn, I should have left you on the streets. <laughs> Nah, that nigga had to get off the streets. If Walla would have stayed on the streets, this nigga would have been a. a you wouldn't have. You'd have crashed out. Listen, I burned the toilet off. I burned my toilet off. First of all, I wanted to double back. That's how good it was. I know that one of our sponsors is Roman Swipes. Yeah, I know a lot of you guys saying, yeah, Roman's my best friend. Because it was a lot of times when it was time for you to rise to the occasion and you couldn't rise. But as soon as Roman Swipes came into your life, you was able to rise like it was no problem. Like it was nothing. It was easy, you know. And do the guys out there that don't know about this and what's going on, they probably have a little problem and don't want to talk to somebody. One thing I like about Roman Swipes is real discreet. I'm talking about, listen, uh, I'm talking about they clinically proven to wait last longer in bed. They're effective, easy to use, fast acting, but don't require prescription. And guess what? They ship your swipes in a discreet, unmarked packaging. I'm talking about the package is so small it can fit in your wire. Swipes are great. They will not transfer to your partner so you can last longer without worrying. And they're super easy to use. Just take the swipe out, you know, out the package, swipe it on with it, swipe it right on with it, let it dry, and you're good to go. And that's it. I'm talking about that's it. That's all you got to do. Take it out the package, wipe it on with it, and you're good to go. It's what I'm talking about. Party all the time. When you go to GetRomans.com slash million, you can get your first month of swipes for just $5 when you choose a monthly plan. That's GetRoman.com. Dot com slash million. Man, man these niggas is crazy. See, so you see, no, my cousin, for that's real. really a, like that's these. You can really tell like, these niggas is part of me and my cousin, cousin talking about these niggas all the time. I used to that's change how his diapers, man. Mm. For real, yeah. don't tell nobody right, that shit. Right right there, 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 they three up. years apart, but he changing his diaper. I exactly. thought, first of all, you know when you grew up in my age bracket, we had responsibilities at five, nigga six. Right, seven. First of all, first of all, the nigga wore the one nigga wore a diaper till he was five. So I was That's fucking, what I was about to say. He ain't yeah. tell you these niggas was already grown when they was doing this yeah, shit. Yeah, I was eight. <laughs> yeah, I think it's <laughs> fucked up, man. man Jackie like is crazy. Chase Wallow Dyke. Boy, I can sit down a little nigga. Throw him in the tub. Boy. Nigga ain't shit. You're a little stinking ass. <laughs> little stinking ass. <laughs> <laughs> I'd have been scared of this nigga as a young nigga. If your eyes was always like that, yeah, my nigga. Like, let me tell you hey, something. My nigga, nigga, everything you say, everything <laughs> you say, and that's what make you so legendary. Like that's it. I don't know if you ever noticed that, but nigga, you, you can't like not take you serious, hey, nigga. You like look at me, nigga. And, and let me yeah. and let me it, it, ask Wallow this question. Not glorifying nothing. This just our past. Right. As many robberies as we went on and did back in the day, I never got tested. Nigga threw you on the ground. Hold up, what happened? So yeah. you know, nigga right. threw Wallow on the ground. A nigga, you went to go rob a nigga. Nigga was like, "Get the fuck off!" <laughs> it was his big, listen, it was his Get big, it was his big Puerto Rican face. guy. Right, he had all these chains on. 
This nut ass nigga, how you got the gun and you backing up? You you over there somewhere. No, no, no. First of all, you how move somebody, too how fast. You, how just you how he is now right. when he jump off the wall. What are you doing? That's how he was back then. Right. He would have jumped out the car first like he got the gun, run all up on the ball, just, reach out for his chain. He caught Wallow fucking head in midair. Gripped him the fuck up and threw him and threw on him. the ground. And he's no. standing there. And then I said, what you doing? He didn't even shoot him. I, 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 I ain't supposed to shoot. We wasn't there for the fucking shoot. We was there for a fucking change. <laughs> what you talking so y'all was a robbing team with one fuck. gun? Yeah, we yes. <laughs> you got the gun, right? No, no, no. no. Listen, listen. Hey, nigga. Listen. It's some time to get it. No, first of all. First of all, he was a PPB. A professional pat down boy. You fuck us wrong with you. Okay. He was the pat down boy. Okay. He was okay. freaky. Yeah, I can listen. <laughs> Hold on. I couldn't trust a nigga with no gun. Fuck is you tell me? He yeah, the nigga, nigga was down. 10. He pat the nigga down. Nigga, 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 10 years old. Nigga. That's when he first got locked up when he was 10. Yeah, because you was a dirty motherfucker <laughs> taking <laughs> this nigga on missions when he 10. Yeah. We be right back. We go right on to the store. Now you got this nigga robbing grown men and shit because your eyes poked out that far and they think you a grown man. At least you looking through a nigga's soul when you walk up on him and you got a pistol you like nigga I fucked around and got robbed last night by a goddamn <laughs> nigga from Saturn nigga <laughs> <laughs> then you got a little boy man that I would have hated to get robbed by y'all that was probably the most awkward robbery ever no we missed a lot of years together though cause Wallow got locked up at like 11 was it yeah then 13 then 14 always was locked 15. up 15 man that's <laughs> your fault man you oh you did no a lot of no a lot of times he got caught stealing clothes no, he no you that anything. you was a booster. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Wallow, was, were you a low life? Yes. Yeah. Oh, Absolutely. okay. You was yeah, a low life. That's crazy. You, you said know that. about yeah. North. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You, you know a low life. North. Now I watched the low life documentary. Oh, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah I seen sir. the documentary. Them niggas used to steal polos the and whole shit. Whole story. Why you think the nigga named Wallow? That's what I'm saying. I was why I was asking. Yes, yeah. Wallow, Duglo, Jiglo, Ricklo, Low. Stop telling all. You always mention niggas' names. That's why everybody get a date of the north. Doug, y'all a bunch of old fucking thieves. Nobody care about that shit no more. The most cartels in Philly. He brought fuck you talking about. So you missed the opportunity right there. That's the comedian that you should have been like, yeah, nigga. When he was in jail, he was down low. <laughs> you always trying to fuck my name up because you got the hairline older than you. Hey, it's Frank. <laughs> leave that nigga alone, man. That nigga hairline older than him. You be y'all hard on Wait, 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 wait. You got something to say? Hey, it's Frank. This nigga ain't shit. This nigga ain't shit. Oh, fuck. You gonna be like, who is Frank? Look him up. Look, look up the fuck up. Look just like your ass. Look nah, but I, I got a question though, Wallo. Like, all them years, man, you know, we respect jail in uh, our community. You know what I'm saying? Because it's, it's it, you know, it's. As tough as it is, it's an accomplishment. You know what I mean? To make it through that system like that in 20 years. like. And my uncle always used to tell me not to go to jail because of the little shit you miss, like being able to open up a refrigerator door, set the water yeah. temperature to what you want. So in 20 years, what did you miss the most about outside? Pussy. Besides pussy. Oh, yeah. No, 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 no. He didn't Money miss that pussy. the most. Like, Money I, and pussy. Like, like, pussy. Like, like, I believe, most. like, I believe, like, on some real, real, real shit, like, I used to call home, right? Because my grandma never knew how much time I was doing. She's 85 now, right? 86. So when I used to call home, I never told her. Like I always told my mom, and I'm telling her how much time. I'll be, like, I'll be home soon, nanny. And she used to always say, well, listen, baby, I ain't going to be here when you get back. Just make sure, you know, I want you to do. And that used to fuck me up because it was mm. like, she really like, and I'm, and I'm scared on the low because I'm like, oh, shit. Sometimes, whereas though, I would go times where I wouldn't even call her. Like, I just write. Because I ain't want to hear that at the end of the call joint. Because my other grandma, my, my father mom, she came up to see me. Said, yeah, baby, I had to come and see you before I die. She died a month later. Damn, sorry, so, so, so it was like, that shit to me was like, that was the, that's what I missed the most. Like, going to my grandma's crib, checking her out. Because, you know, I'm looking at everybody else. Like, you look at everybody else because it's like, you ain't thinking nobody else going to die. Right. You see what I'm saying? And then my brother get killed. You know, he gets shot on the block. Run to my peace, cousin Steve. Run, run, to my grand, run to my grandma's crib. She opened the door. He fall in arms, inspire. So it was like, it was so much. That shit just kept hitting me and hit me and hit me. And it was like, that's all I really missed was like my people. So you know what I'm saying? Because like all that other shit, when you in jail, you know you did what you did. Like me, I wasn't one of them niggas that was innocent. I was hey, I knew I was out here doing dumb shit. I was, I, I was, I think that was one of the greatest things about me and my transition back to society was that. I ain't coming home mad at nobody. Don't nobody owe me nothing. I did some dumb shit. That's why I went to jail. So it's more like self accountability. Yeah, you because because it's like Absolutely. And, 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 and I always said, no matter what, when I get out, you know what I mean. I'm never like I I never seen it as like it was a a badge of honor because all the shit that I seen in jail, 
it's it's a real psychological warfare going on. It really fucks you up when they just come in your cell, strip you out, you know, search your cell. <clears throat> I'm talking about the shit they spraying people mace, all type of shit that you see in the mountains. Cause you 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 might be from a city, but all the prisons is in the middle of America. And these people, and then when you do the math on it, like, hold up. We got, oh yeah, we gotta ship a bunch of people to a new jail. They send you to a new jail. You like, hold up. This 3,000 motherfuckers ain't all black. We just built a whole new community. Cause when they build the jail, it's like it's like it's put together like a puzzle. They bring pieces, doom, doom, doom. Build it, put the gates around it, and then now a Walmart pump in the town. Like we build whole communities. Mm. Like when we go to jail, it's yeah, a whole economy like, like we build a whole economy because what happened is this is how it go. It'll be a bunch of land. They'll take it, middle of Pennsylvania, middle of Georgia. Boom! Drop a prison. Now the prison there, this is how it goes. Two thousand jobs. Two th bunch of jobs from a bunch of people that mm. they ain't even worrying about going to college and getting no degree. Now they're getting a bunch of money. You got a bunch of jobs, right? And then here come the Walmart. They got to have somewhere to spend this money. Here come the Walmart. Here, and then now when your family drive from the city to go see him, when your family drive from the city to go see him, now here come the state troopers pulling everybody over. They keep mm -hmm. coming. So now they can get the, you know, get the tickets. So you got to come back. To, they build a whole economy over us in the, in the ghettos of America doing dumb shit to each other. Real talk. And, and, real and, shit. And, and I can crazy. understand, I could because, you know, Wallow super close with his grandmom and nanny, you feel what I'm saying? So I can understand why, he, you know, he would that would be, you know what I'm saying? And then you can't miss what you got. He had something in there. So, the, you know, it wasn't you missing. Are, Wow, nigga. <laughs> you a nigga, man. You a wild nigga. You know who this nigga is? Wild, this nigga's man. Nelson off The Simpsons. Dog. Nelson Muntz, my he's nigga. Dirty, hey, hey, this he's nigga's dirty, a walking hey, hey. Leave he's this dirty, nigga shit. alone, man. Bro, they in, bro. bro. Yeah, I yeah, see yeah, they there. They ain't got on mine. These niggas ain't even came in yet. He done had a little something in that motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? Oh, that's Stacey Abrams. Uh, no, yeah, y'all been talking that, that, come on, DC, put the, hit the, hit the goddamn mute on that. That ain't me? Uh, that ain't you, goddamn, yeah, the Wallow. Nah. Man. That Wallow, he's excited. Well, I'm gonna slap the shit out, you know. Oh, that is me. Uh, <laughs> 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 Something about to go down, we don't want to tell y'all what's going down, because, you know, we just don't yeah, do yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, man. You know, we all about to be watching something in this motherfucker. Oh, but, you talking but, shit? I can't hear uh, it. Unless it. Listen, listen, get, speaking of talking shit from what we watch, I got to ask you, man, because this shit, this shit legendary to me, my nigga. That video that you did when, when, nigga, when the hat was sideways and motherfucking 1,096 diamonds, nigga, was that planned or did a nigga just show up with a camera? You like, you know what? Let me turn that bitch on. No, man. honestly, shout out to Esteban, right? You know, Esteban uh, was, I think he worked for MTV now. You know what I'm saying? He just was like, Gilly, uh, I, I want to come down and interview you. You know, I just wanted to, you know, interview you in a raw element, blah, blah, blah. And what just so happened was I had honestly forgot. And when he called me and got with me, I was in South Philly. I'm from North Philly. I was in South Philly. So I'm like, all right, fuck it. Meet me right here at Fish Street Projects. I just pulled up in the projects in, in South Philly. I did that in the projects in South Philly. I'm from North Philly, okay. but because I was in South Philly, I was like, my family, I got family all over the city. Meet me in Fish Street Projects. And I was in South Philly when I did that video. You feel what I'm saying? So, and I ain't know what he was going to ask me. He just turned the camera when he started asking me questions. I just started talking shit. You definitely did, man. Yeah, man. You might not know what I'm talking about. You might not know what I'm talking about, but counted? I know what I'm talking about. Who I'm like, look at the eyes on that nigga. He is serious. Through. Did okay. a motherfucker. Well, you well, know what we, Gilly Gilly eyes look like lottery balls. You ever you know the, 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 the ball they shoot up in balls. the lottery. <laughs> the lottery. <laughs> hey, let me ask y'all a question. Start some shit real quick. Oh shit. Oh, oh no. shit. Before we get out of here. I'm scared. Okay. Who the funniest? Oh. That's us. Yeah. No, no, no. That, that was shit. heavy. That was uh, yeah. That was, was the fuck out That's the answer Yo, that, that we all good. gonna give. You know that nigga. Oh, hey. That was strong, hey. brother. Right on, brother. First, first of all, let me just right say on, brother. Let me just tell you something. When I'm trying to start some back and forth. For listen, some, ain't nobody some, fucking with you, Nelson Moss. We know what you is. Hey, listen, I was trying to start some, because you know it only take for one nigga to start busting on each other. But you know what? But, but see, we all are on the road. We all on the road by ourselves anyway. 
And our biggest crowd is when we all three on stage. Exactly. Yeah. No, no, no. All three of you niggas is hilarious. I just wanted one of you niggas to bite the But see, that's what make us different. So we not sitting around niggas. worrying about like who gonna, who gonna be the funniest. Nigga, no, we, no, no, no. we created some but, shit. But that, if you ask me a question about me and Walla, we one but of us. You is are right. listen, you are you so are so, a wild, hey, so a who wild fun, ass hey, nigga. Who funny between you and Wallow? Uh, well, we funny together. Uh, no, 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 I'm shit. I don't be trying to be funny, but people just think I'm funny. Right. Because he is but funny. Because you, you got a million dollar huh? worth of game. He funny. Gil funny. He fun. Funny, funny. No. Uh-oh. Like. <laughs> Both of y'all niggas funny if you think about it. You wrestling no. onesies. Right. This nigga walk he around funny. with toddlers he and funny commit looking. crimes. Right. <laughs> Gil. <laughs> Come on, Gil. I know crime. I'm ugly. You I a funny, funny looking motherfucker. No, 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 it's the difference. Gil. When I open my eyes, I'm funny looking. Gil. When I'm a shit right Gil, Gil, that video you be putting up of that oh nigga from that other country. Oh my God, man. What the fuck man. you trying to say? You look like him. me, nigga? Uh, huh? No, that nigga look. Hold on. Wait. That, that. Take that hat off, nigga. Ain't nothing wrong with. Nigga, that shit on running back stats. Yeah, it is. You know what? You, know why, you know what? You know why it's a running back? Why? Because it's in the backfield. It is. Yeah, and it's got no be there. offensive line. Oh, yeah, my he shit. ain't got no offensive Listen, line. Listen, I got the got I, no front, My yeah. shit, it looked like nasty, a nigga hit my too. shit with the motherfucker uh, <laughs> flamethrower on the front. But, Gil, you built like a cubic coat tip, nigga. If you take your shit off, the cubic coat tip, the, 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 they stick in the nose. If I take what off? It, the, the, the hoodie, nigga. The right. <laughs> watch, watch this nigga. The COVID Q tip. The yeah, COVID Q tip. Oh, I fucked it up. The COVID Q tip, nigga. God damn, God damn. Oh, man. Yeah. Look at this. Oh, oh, look at this. Even the mic. Oh, my up. God. This nigga. Hey, boy, this, this nigga built like a curling eye. Right oh, this got the curling eye oh about it. Hey, you look like you got shot and you've been in a coma for a couple months and you got to learn how to walk again. <laughs> He got that got to learn how to walk that again, buddy. That nigga ain't shit bad. Good, that nigga ain't shit bad right now. Oh, oh my God. 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 Good, right. hey, you got a 13-year-old kid, buddy, man. Hey, hey, what the fuck is going on, man? Hey, stop, man. Oh, Put oh, your oh, shit man. back hey, on, man. Fuck fuck good, good, man. Man. You got a middle school in body, man. Weird, man. DC Young Fly built like a 13-year-old boy. And so are you, man. I know you ain't talking about nobody, but y'all ain't like you smoke my bar rolls. Come on, y'all man. His favorite cigarette is the Mar 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 Right, Gilly got Gilly built like he drink natural light, nigga. That nigga fucking that nigga fucking loose. That nigga fucking Mar 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 bootleg James Hart. <laughs> Get him like he deserve it. He deserve it. I just call it strength. He deserve it. He deserve everything he gets. <laughs> this nigga just put his motherfucking oh, shirt on over there, built like beef jerky. Nigga <laughs> 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 built like nice a handful man. of hamburger meat. <laughs> fucking with me, yeah. right? This nigga, you deserve it, Nelson. Cook that nigga, right? You deserve this for you, Wallo. Thank all the times he made you barbecue. Made you, you, first, of all, first of all, you and Wallo look like twins with different dads. Hey, he want to be over here laughing, titty man. Titty man, that uh -oh. nigga be hating all day, man. Look at uh -oh. little boy body. Where's my bra, little uh, boy body. Uh, man, I listen. Floyd, uh, kill that's all, fucked up. First of all, first, all, first of all, if I got a little boy body, then that means Floyd Mayweather, all the rest of them niggas, because I'm nigga than all of them. You, 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 you built like a bladder. <laughs> right, <laughs> just that's it. But built like an organ. Yeah, for real. <laughs> For real. That boy built like an organ. <laughs> More intense that boy, built that boy, human organ donor. Ugly ass, That boy, <laughs> boy going to donate his whole body when he passed. <laughs> this nigga built like a... This nigga... Hey, listen. Did you ever did your ancestry, nigga? You look like a bunch of niggas from like a specific country that in Africa. From Ethiopia. Ethiopia. You from Ethiopia? Yeah. You from Ethiopia? You an Ethiopian yeah. nigga? Damn, nigga. You do look Ethiopian, though. Yeah, yeah, he do look like an Ethiopian. Uh -huh. Yeah, nigga. You, you be down U Street in D.C. Hold on. Yeah, nigga, to be down U Street in DC. <laughs> this nigga motherfucker got more ribs than the whites, man. Ooh, you, you all ribs, bro. man. I know you ain't talking about nobody, but <laughs> your, but your body made out of a love seat, ugly ass. <laughs> but I'm on your ass. <laughs> but you just took your shirt off, but I just got sleepy, ugly ass. <laughs> but fuck wrong with you. Nigga built like, like, like an sleep. old banana. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hold on, I know you ain't talking. <laughs> oh shit, because you, 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 you bad built. <laughs> Yeah, Gil. You, you look like a bad guy. Gil. You, up you got the same tree. eyes as the Powerpuff Girls, nigga. Like, the, I told him, <laughs> you got the See, Powerpuff you know Girls it, eyes. You know they say you got the Powerpuff Girls eyes. I got three like, niggas against one. Dad. I got two bitch ass niggas just sit back laughing. Yeah. <laughs> Cause you deserve it. Right. You deserve man. it. You deserve it. Yeah, you you deserve it, bro. You right. know, the way you fuck with this nigga all the time, you deserve it. You know what? You know what? This motherfucker Let me play. Let me play some of you. So this, this the payback? This is the payback, listen, nigga. Listen, listen. What they did listen, to the cold crush, this, nigga. That's what it is. This motherfucker right here, he would not let me motherfucking rest. 
every time I'm somewhere chilling, this idiotic motherfucker like to touch men when they sleep. Oh, he got Lord, a fascination with touching niggas when they sleep. Oh, man, what type of shit? I don't know what the this? fuck he be man, on. Man, listen, that's we like now, pussy. And now, and now, it you got to stop that jail shit. You free, man. Yeah, you no, free. Fuck you, look, free, you in man. Atlanta, we got Blue Flame, you Magic free. City, we got all this. No, he girl. can't go in there. It's coochies that everywhere. That nigga is going, because he going to go in the bathroom and jerk off when he got to take a shit. This nigga going to go to the bathroom. I got to use the bathroom. <laughs> like, why, bro? We just got, I got, I got to use the bathroom. That's why I, I got to use the bathroom. No, <laughs> that's why I tried to sell him up. How many times you think? You trying to hit me. Yeah, yeah, yeah I thought you was going to say, about four or five times, I was going to get your ass. Can you imagine getting a call from your family like, you need to come get your cousin. What are you doing? The bathroom jerking off loud with the porno up loud. <laughs> nigga in the strip club <laughs> watching a flick City. at Magic City. <laughs> nigga skipped all the real pussy to go watch. Oh, this remind me of this remind me of that porn hub video I was looking at. That I y'all got a bathroom. Y'all got a bathroom I can use. <laughs> y'all got a bathroom I can use. Right? Y'all got a bathroom I can use. <laughs> like, uh, 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 don't let him go no bathroom. No, no, no. Don't hey, you know what? Hey, hey, talk, my bad. It's Tony, cool. the closer. Turn around. Hey, that 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 behind you. That statue. That's what Gilly built. Like. Hey, put that. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> that nigga took his shirt off and was built like a blues statue. <laughs> first, of all, okay, first, of all, first of all, what you niggas mad at because none of you niggas is built like this. Damn. Nah, I wouldn't. Hey, listen. What's that, that old, that what's that old buddy, cartoon bro? that used to be a Gumby? Like that, a green and Gumby. blue. The Gumby. Gumby. Yeah, Gumby. Ah! First of all, yeah. first of all, you built like a Slim Jim out the pack. But I'm on your ass. I'm you, on your ass. You built like a fucking a, a miniature. Uh, Get it out Stuff you vacuum bag You, know, you, you got the like same Gilly. skin tone as You look like all them niggas Indiana Jones fault <laughs> <laughs> Legend of the Hidden Temple That's what you look like One, one of them niggas <laughs> off Legends <laughs> of the Hidden Temple Pardon his ass man, nigga, You one gonna be an extra me, On the new I Legends of the Hidden the Temple I'm an ugly nigga it's not just that you ugly. No, you it's ugly like you a fuck. specific kind of so ugly. You, 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 hey, you, ugly. you know what you look so like, Gil? You you Gil, no, you know what you look like, Gil? No, nigga, you ugly too, Bro, you nigga. got the same skin tone as turkey bacon. I'm Good. on your ass. Gil. <laughs> turkey bacon, Gil. Well, you look like turkey bacon, right? Hey, you, I'm on you. Your gluten cheek. free. You got gluten you, free skin. And, and, you, and you the color of pork bacon, nigga, with his burp. Hey, Gil, you know what you look like? You know when you ever seen the evolution of man? You like the third nigga right before the human come. Like... <laughs> you like, oh you like the, he the baby in the air. Yeah, he the, he the, he the baby in the air. He, he the nigga that's like right here. <laughs> he ain't all the way stood up yet. But that nigga, <laughs> that nigga. Oh, that, so what you trying to say is this nigga lives on a peninsula? <laughs> and, uh, I love that, that nigga have eight, have human. Kill him, <laughs> kill him. <laughs> right, man. Yeah, I'm gonna be wild the fuck up. Yo, I set well, this shit up, nigga. Oh, I want to ask y'all about that. When y'all niggas got to fight, was that real yeah, that I time? Saw, I attended this shit. Why would what the fuck is wrong with you niggas, man? Uh, Y'all was really fighting. I always thought it was a joke. No, I swear. Like hands, you like hands on it. Since, Fly, you ever seen that shit, bro? When they got real. the wrecking? Uh -huh. oh, since yeah, we, been, since we was young, I probably tended wallow shit three times. Mm. How many times he tended your shit? No. Right. No, no. You was a lying motherfucker. Wale, I didn't see that nigga. Wale. Wale. Don't let that nigga whoop your ass, man. Hey, hey, listen. I done seen that nigga put you in a couple of them karate Earl moves. How many times? How many times I watched? Listen, I done seen him put it. And listen, and listen. No, you can't count with a nigga. Last Dragon is is the greatest movie of all time. No, it's not. I got a painting of Bruce Leroy. See, you tried to get it. I know Bruce. I'm Bruce I respect that, but I'm gonna tell you, your cousin really love you, man. Tay Mark. Cause the girl who painted the who painted who painted the Bruce Leroy. She posted it and it was mine, but he went in. The, he was in the comments and said, "I need to get this for Wallow." He tried to get you to paint me, man. Yeah, he did. Yeah, yeah he, he did. Man. Give me a hug, man. Yeah, yeah he hug. did. Give me a jail What's a jail Don't hug that nigga. He gonna break. That nigga. He, <laughs> he, want, you, he <laughs> want you to hug him family style. Y'all mad because I'm 44 with abs. Nigga, that bro, ain't no that ass. Ain't no that ain't no goddamn ass, nigga. Them Twinkies. Nigga, you built like a hey, you built like a Gogurt, nigga. You you a Gogurt too built that. That boy built out of a Gogurt. Forty-four smoke weed all day. Don't never work out and got ass. Man, somebody please. Man, ain't gonna shit on himself trying to hold it. Yeah, you ain't never lied. My stomach. Then you just smacked your stomach three times, nigga. You gonna be bruised. Nigga, you gonna be an urgent care in the morning. Morning. Fuck out of shit. First, of all, care. first of all, DC fly, DC like you fucking young, like you nigga, you're six one one thirty five. Well, you old. When I first got here, you gave me a peppermint. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> 
There you go. I'm like, what the fuck? You a gangster got peppermint in your pack. You cold water. You want some water. It was peppermint. You want Corona, too. I ain't never heard nobody say no shit like that. You need a peppermint. Like, what type of fucking joke is <laughs> Listen, this nigga Wallow over here scrolling trying to find a video where he right. beat the shit out you. Why don't you find a video? First of all, Wallow had a bitch that was 63 years old when he was locked the fuck up using the shit out of him. Why don't you That's what he's that? supposed to do. He was locked up. He didn't have no options. He, he had came to do what he had to do. Pleased her. That's what he's supposed to no, do. He, he promised her that dick no, when he, he was didn't. about to go to the hole. No, he did. He's a man of his word. Man. And we stand with a uh, wallow. So using old Thank women, you. so using old women is cool. He didn't, he didn't use, use her. her. She's sixty three. She made a conscious decision to give young wallow a shot at their title, and just because he had to take it. I would have used, used her too. Nah. She, first of but, all, but but man. that's the thing. You got to think about first it like all, this: Who needed who more? Right now she'll tell you that she's still alive. Shit, yeah. So that means that means he helped her stay. Listen, if she's still alive and she was sixty three when they was fucking around, <laughs> sixty three. That's damn. So niggas don't live to sixty three. No, I'm <laughs> saying, but you saying it like she old. But if she still lived, he right added on. some Wallow. years onto her life because he Wallow, treated her so right. What that sixty five year old pussy hitting like? Tell the truth. I don't tell, know. T- come on, bro. He'll tell the truth on. one time. You ain't gonna find that video. You might as well. It's a wrap. Right. You ain't gonna find right. it. Right. You ain't gonna find it, nigga. Your thumb sweating. Before you do find it, nigga. Before you do find it, man. I just want to appreciate you, brothers, for coming through, man. Oh, we, we got, still we, got time. No, we got an event uh, that we supposed to be looking at in a minute. I appreciate you for coming. Now the event through. was you taking your shit off and letting America see no, your bill. I had, I had to come slide through OG. Y'all in the city. No, 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 don't, don't, don't leave. Nah, no, I'm down yeah, off that one. Yeah. And it's just <laughs> like that. That was, that that was, that was too.